Today I'd like to talk to you about the role of non-executive directors, how that role is different to roles you may have had before um, as being a director, what to look for if you're looking for a non-exec director to fill a position on your board, and if you're about to become a non-exec director, some top tips for you to succeed in that role. Why do organisations need non-executive directors? After all, you've got directors already doing some roles that are important to the organisation. A non-executive is there to ensure that the longer term aims of the organisation are thought about and kept in mind when decisions are made. Non-executive directors act as a critical friend for executives. They ensure that the strategy the organisation has agreed is being followed, that it makes sense for the organisation and that the organisation will continue longer term into the future. As well as the executive, they have a shared responsibility for ensuring good corporate governance within any organisation and this extends to being responsible for when things go wrong, for example, corporate manslaughter, fraud or corruption. A non-executive director sits on the board of an organisation but isn't responsible for the day-to-day -day management. So they might be known as trustees if it's a charity, governors if you're talking about a school, they could be called non-execs or NEDs, they could be special advisors that sit permanently on a board and so on. Whatever they're called, they still have the same role and they still have the same key responsibilities. Non-executives are responsible for considering strategy, use of resources, the long-term financial stability and health of the organisation and that it meets legislative requirements. Non-execs should ensure that their systems and processes in place so that they can have assurance that things are going smoothly. An example of this could be an audit committee or some form of audit that is carried out throughout the organisation on a regular basis. The role of a non-exec director is to make sure that management are doing their job properly, that they're using resources effectively and that they're keeping the board fully informed of what's going on. The differences we've talked about may seem subtle, but it really is about concentrating on the longer term needs and objectives of an organisation. Management might be more interested in shorter term objectives. For example, performance targets might make them want to get short term gains, which could cost the organisation in the longer term. The non-executive acts as a balance between shorter term needs and wants and longer term objectives for any organisation. When recruiting for people to become non-executive directors, make sure you value difference and diversity. Go for people that are perhaps slightly different to the usual middle-aged, middle-class that you might expect to see sat on a board of any organisation. Any non-executive will need time to be able to do the job properly. You usually say it might take one or two days a month. In reality, it's going to take more time to be able to be an effective non-exec. And finally, those people need to be able to offer realistic challenge, so they need to act as that critical friend. If you're about to become a non-executive, there are things you need to think about. For example, have you been offered an induction program? This can really make or break the difference to how effective you can be, so if you haven't been offered one, ask for one. Think about what sort of role you're going to take on the board, and don't leap straight in. Spend time working out how the balance between other people works within the boardroom before you start to speak. An important point is to think about what sort of questions might be useful for you to ask when you're sat on a board. So, is the thing that's being proposed a quick fix for now, or is it something that can be adopted in the future? What sort of things would your stakeholders, so shareholders, customers, staff, think about what's being proposed? What are the key risks? How would it look if it got leaked to the local paper or the national papers about what you're proposing to do? Have those sorts of questions in mind and try and always come at it from a different point of view each time. 
One of the key problems I see is when people become pigeonholed into only asking one type of question or one question whether it fits in the discussion that's taking place or not. Try and avoid that, otherwise you'll get labelled as a one-trick pony and even though you've got a valuable contribution to make, it will be ignored by your peers. The role of a non-executive director is different to what you've probably done before. You need to think longer term. It's more about what will keep the organisation live and fresh in the future rather than short-term needs. If you're recruiting for a non-exec director, there's some key things around difference and diversity that you need to think about. And if you're about to become a non-exec director, hopefully you've got some tips on what sort of questions and how to behave during your time.